What if Elvis had never left the building? EP, Elvis Presley. <laughs> what would have been if he didn't die in 1977? What would a show be like if he lived on into the 80s? That's the question Steve Unger and his band Alive 85 set out to answer every time they hit the stage. All right, now we're ready to rock and roll. Our show begins on August 17th, 1977. The set includes a mix of updated classics from the king of rock and roll, plus the kinds of covers he might have played in the mid-1980s. Like Whitesnake and Motley Crue and Bon Jovi and Kiss. And a lot of times, you know, the younger generation, they don't even know, they're like, man, I didn't know Elvis did a Kiss song. <laughs> this singer definitely has range. For the past two decades, he's played bass in the hard-hitting band Metal Church. I've been all over the world with that band, and you know, we've played in front of millions of people. Steve's side hustle as a singing, swinging icon catches some metal fans by surprise. Yeah, they're like, man, I can't even imagine the guy from Metal Church doing this, this Elvis stuff. And then they come in, they see the show, and they're like. But Steve was all shook up with a burning love for Elvis at an early age. Six years old with the headphones on. That's how I learned about music was through Elvis. He's out to reimagine, not recreate. I'm really not trying to be an Elvis impersonator. At this show for a pumped up muckle shoot casino crowd, he brings guest vocalist Pamela Moore, known for her work with Queensryche, up to the stage. Steve Unger and Alive 85 are bringing the king back to life. One sweaty scarf, one swinging hip, one passionate performance at a time. I'm having a blast, so I'm gonna keep doing it. The show that never was, but should have been. Thank you, thank you very much.